Cyberpunk 2077, Johnny Silverhand. I've had the opportunity to do voiceover a few times. I'd worked on a cartoon. I had done some documentaries. I'd never done this much. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. And I've processed some shit. Changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. You know, and got to play a character in so many kind of different ways because of different paths or threads or choices. So you almost get to play one moment, say you have a decision, would you take a bullet for it? With three different behavioral attitudes. So that was fun. You know, he's uh, Johnny's either a dick or he's happy or he's trying to convince. Know why? Because you've always been a fucking pussy, Carrie. So it's been fun, and that was kind of what I was interested in. You know, the different options that the game could play. You know, playing the same person, but with different versions of them. Motion capture, baby. Johnny Silverhand. Uh, so one of the first elements that I was involved in with the game was motion capture. I've done a, a fair bit of motion capture. I did it with uh, in the Matrix films, so to start doing a motion capture for Johnny. It was all very familiar to me. The only difference, I think, technologically, was how close they were going to real-time review. But creatively, it was very familiar in the sense of starting a, a library of, of gesture and the toolbox, let's say, for the animators to work with for the character. So you get to see Johnny as the rock star, you know, you hear about his military past, you know, and he's fighting for his survival. Yeah. So he's kind of got all of these things leading into the moment of this guy. It's really a kind of an interpretation, because I think there's a Johnny Silverhand in all of us. He's got a lot of energy. He's got a good sense of humor, if not a little dark at times. He's very passionate, he cares, you know, it's, um, He's kind of naive, but he's also super experienced in life. He's got certainly an appetite for life. Oh, man. No, you're wrong. He wants to change the world, you know? But he has a cause that he wants to fight against the corpocracy. Come on, don't tell me you're not interested. He's kind of looking for a different kind of freedom. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots. And now they're after our souls. At least I believed in something bigger. At least I had a cause. What CD Projekt Red has shared with me in the way that they talk about the game and what I've seen is that it's got a, a lot of freedom. There's so many different paths that you can play the game on. But it's not just quests of paths. It's like, who are you? How do you want to play the character? If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. You can go into action, you can go into mystery, you can problem solve in different ways. And where you go in this world, there's so much detail. There's so many different things that you can go off into that are really interesting um, and fun. There's a real drama to the game and emotional stakes to it. And then there's lighter sides to it. And of course, the music, production design, technologically, how cutting edge it is. I don't think there'll be a game that looks like this. Yeah, it's intense. I take the driver, you get his side too. Good job. Yeah. Bye bye. Hi guys, here's today's daily fact. Keanu Reeves has been known to take huge pay cuts for movies to help pay for alternative needs. But for The Matrix, he actually cut his paycheck by nearly $40 million just so the producers could afford better special effects. And it definitely worked out. Remember to click below to subscribe, and if you like my t-shirt, you can get one for yourself at the link in the description.